Hello. In this video, we are starting to build a new project, a dress book. And this video is for way beginners, so I will be explaining everything as I go. So if you have experience building projects in Visual Studio in Windows, Windows form, it might be a little bit too slow for you, but of course, if you want, you can watch it. I'm using Visual Studio 2017, but any pretty much any version of this software will work because we don't need any advanced option for this project. As I said, I will be explaining everything uh, as I go and the first thing we're going to look at our Visual Studio when I open it, we have Solution Explorer. And we're going to talk a little bit m more about it. Uh, before we do it, we're going to open our project and to, to do it, we're going to go to File, New, Project. And for this project, we are going to be using Windows Forms. So I'm going to click on it and make sure on the right side it says Visual C Sharp. We'll be using C Sharp programming language. Now, in the name field, I'm going to type address book. And if you have this box under create directory for solution checked, make sure you uncheck it. If it if you check this box, what is going to happen? Not all files will be in, in the same folder. This is a very simple project. We want everything in one folder. So uncheck this box and click OK. And it will take a few seconds and Visual Studio will, be the, will build a project for you. And this is my form. And this is actually a working form. If I start it, Visual Studio is going to build it on the background and this is my form. I don't have anything inside, I don't have anything to click, but I can already minimize it, maximize it and I can close it. And here it just I just have a generic name form one, we're going to change it. So I'm going to close it and before we start building our project, I want a few windows on my screen. So the first window, I already have it, let, let me unpin it. We're going to talk about how pin and unpin it, what, what it means. So Solution Explorer. Solution Explorer, it shows you all components of this project. And we'll, we'll be using this window later, but for now we don't need it. Now, if I click somewhere else, it's going to disappear. It's going to go on the right side. If I click on it, it's going to be here. But like I said, if I click, it goes away. To keep it on a screen, you have to pin it. So if you click on this little pin, and now if I click anywhere else, it's going to stay here. So same with properties. If I pin it, it's actually going to line it up, li line it up with Solution Explorer. I don't need Solution Explorer on the screen, so I'm going to unpin it. And one more thing we need to start building our project. We're going to go to View. And we will be, we are looking for a toolbox. So this is our toolbox we need. I'm going to clean it, uh, click on it. And as you can see, it's on the left side. It's already pinned to the left side of the screen. But like I said, if I don't want to see it, I can unpin it. Okay. So we actually need it. So I'm going to pin it to the screen. Now, if for some reason you click on this close icon and it's not there, again, go to view, find it click on it and it's again on the left side. So all we need right now, we need toolbox and we need properties window on the right side. So now we have our form. So I'm going to click on it and we need to talk a little bit about the properties window. On the top uh, part, we have a few icons. So this little wrench on a piece of paper and if you ho hover over it, it says properties. We have properties and we have events. If I click on it, it's going to be, it's going to show me all events we can use for this form. We don't need it at this moment. We're going to use it later. I'm going to click on properties and I can sort it by alphabet. So if I click right here, it's alphabetically. If I click here, it's sorted by categories. I'm going to leave it alphabetically and the form is highlighted right now. So all properties, they're related to this form right now. So I'm going to go all the way up and I'm going to change the name of the form and good practice to give this form a meaning, meaningful name. 
So I'm going to start with abbreviation for form. And I'm going to type address book, no spaces. And this is just the name for the form that will be on the background. I'm going to scroll. So if I click anywhere, it doesn't change anything for the form. I'm going to scroll all the way down and I'll find property text. I'm going to double click. You can double click on it to highlight form one or you can just highlight it any way you want. So I double click and if I type address book and I click enter, you will see that this form one will change to address book. Okay, so if I start it, this is our form and where did it go? All right. And it not, not much changed. The only thing that changed is the name of the form that we can see. All right, I'm going to close it. And now what I want to do, as you can see, when I start, it shows up on the left top screen. I want to start it in the very middle. I'm going to go down, find start position, click on it and click on this little arrow. And I'll choose center screen. And if I start my form right now, it's going to show up right in the middle of the screen. All right, I will close it. And in this video, we'll do one more thing. We're going to put a label on the screen that will say address book. And in the toolbox, in this list of properties. So if it's all like that, just click on common, uh, common controls and choose label. And there are two ways you can put the label on your form. You can double click and it's going to put just in the left top corner and you can drag it. So I'm going to click delete and remove it. Or you can actually left click and drag it and put it wherever you want. Okay, so we have a label. And again, if I highlight the label, I'm going to have all properties related to this label. If I click on the form, I'm going to have all properties related to this form. So I'm going to click on this label. And on the right side, I'm going to click double click on, on name and I'll type LBL address book so an LBL it's a common abbreviation for all labels so now again this is the name for the label uh, is, nothing is going to change on the form but if I scroll down and I find the text property and I double click on it oh, as you can see I, I clicked on the form and now I have the property for the form so I need to, to click back on the label and I'll double click on the text and I I'll type address book and if I, when I push enter, I'm going to have a dress book in the middle of my form. Now it's kind of small, so I want to make it bigger. So I'm going to change the font. So again, it's highlighted. I'll go uh, to the property window windows and window and click on, on this plus and I'll find size, double click on it and let's make it 20 enter as you can see we have our label right there all right i'm going to start it one more time and this is how our form looks in the next video we're going to continue building this form but for now have a great day and i'll see you in the next video